Jeff's Custom RC, RC with Attitude. And tonight, I want to welcome to our channel a great sponsor, guys, that is a good friend of mine. Uh, it's where my son and I go work out every morning. Excellent facility, and it is Champions Health and Fitness, guys. Awesome gym, incredible cardio equipment. He has everything you need from free weights to Nautilus equipment to a total spin room with bikes, yoga room, showers, excellent facilities, guys. If you're ever in Greenville, North Carolina, you need a quick workout, you're traveling, you're visiting, or you live here, check him out, guys. Champions Health and Fitness. Ask for Greg, he'll take care of you. Really appreciate you guys tuning in tonight. Um, got a lot of new subscribers. I'm gonna get to that shortly and thank every one of them. Um, but look guys, we've got an unboxing here and a whole new set of things going on here on the channel. Um, gonna be doing a incredible new customization. I hope you guys will follow along and stay with me. Uh, I'm gonna be working on this for a while. Um, Hope you'll enjoy it as much as I do. Um, and I've already done one small unboxing, some things I had to get from Motion RC. Uh, actually got me a run cam, guys. Uh, I'm gonna be hopefully attaching this to some of my planes. I'll watch a lot of you guys out there that are doing it. Um, putting them on your planes, uh, Todd Burita. Um, just a lot of you guys put them on there. Great video footage, so I figured I'd try that out. Um, New front retract system for the Stinger 90, ready to get it back up in the air. Been waiting on that. Um, another thing, guys, we're talking about is uh, high tech servo. This is actually a HS5245 milligram um, digital servo, high tech. And the reason I ordered this, guys, this is for the F4 Phantom. Um, several guys out at our field have had a lot of issues with the F4, with the rear uh, elevator, horizontal stabilizer, whatever you want to call it. Um, the servo is burning out, not being strong enough. There's a lot of torque on that plane, guys. And um, several of us have uh, changed out. My first F4 went in, uh, luckily went in very softly, barely landed it, and uh, the servo had gone out on it. Called Motion, of course they're awesome. They sent me a brand new servo, put it in, did a few adjustments to the linkage, made it a little firmer because uh, one of the, the ball link had come off actually. Um, and uh, a couple of the guys at the field, they've had servos to totally quit working. One, uh, Baron Walker put his F4 nose in, uh, servo just went out um, with no warning. Um, so of course, you know, he had to order a new one. Uh, Russell, guy that flies with us, he landed his F4, taxiing it back in, had no elevator. Uh, upon looking into it, uh, the elevator uh, servo had quit. So we've all switched out to high tech guys. Uh, they're a better servo, a lot nicer than the free wing servo. Um, even though Motion stood behind mine, um, we're putting the high tech servos in our F4. Also, we're going in there and putting a heavier duty rod. Um, this is actually a uh, 305 rod that we're gonna put in the F4 going from the servo to the actual linkage where the ball joint is. Um, just doing this guys, just trying to firm it up as much as possible. Like I said, that F4, there's a lot of torque on that elevator and on that servo and uh, everything you can do to, you know, we're flying 8S as well. Uh, but yeah, so we're just really trying to do everything we can to prevent more issues with that rear uh, servo on that elevator. So you guys may really want to look into it. Um, another thing, uh, ordered some servo leads, extensions, Ys, you always need this kind of stuff. A um, Couple of Admiral receivers with the built-in gyro, some ball link clevises, uh, different kinds. I've got some different connectors here. Just a good bag of goodies there, guys, that you always need to have on hand. Um, also, this is for the Stinger 90. Um, the gear doors, I needed those for the front retract. Um, wheel pants, nah, I didn't need them, but they came with it, so I've got those. 
Uh, new nose cone for the uh, stinger, which I fixed the other one, so I've just got this as a spare. Um, and then, of course, the trusted foam tack, foam safe CA, uh, thin and medium CAs here, guys. Always need those. And uh, last but not least, guys, out of this box, well, here it is. The 90 millimeter free wing 1835 KV in-runner fan and it's going in what's in this box which I will be getting around to opening here shortly um, been waiting on this but this is going to be an upgrade for this plane and I guess that tells you guys that it's going to be a jet and uh, yeah I'm going to be having a lot of fun with this one uh, going to be changing it up right out of the box guys so stay tuned and I'll be opening this up shortly and uh, again thanks to Champions Health and Fitness, my sponsor for tonight. Uh, great guys, great gym, beautiful facility. If you guys ever need anything, if you're traveling, working out here in North Carolina and Greenville, check it out. Uh, get some good workouts in. Champions Health and Fitness, guys. And uh, so, yeah, so stay tuned, and we'll be back shortly, and we'll get this box opened up and see what's inside. All right, guys, so we're back, and uh, as you can see, Dave's RC in the house. Peace. Check it out, Dave. Love this shirt, man. Awesome. Uh, really appreciate it. And just wanted to give you a shout out there, man. Um, I really thank you for this. Um, be shooting several videos coming up now uh, with this on just because of you, brother. I do appreciate it. You guys check him out. Yeah, checked out Dave's RC. Check him out. Um, and uh, a lot of other guys out there uh, I want to mention tonight as well. I'd also like to give a shout out tonight to Balazur1, um, who has subscribed to me on my channel. Also, Steven Erickson, um, I appreciate your subs. Uh, DIY Granddad, um, and there's, there's more guys. I, I, I just can't think of all of them. I try to keep up with them, but I do appreciate all of you guys. Um, hey Skip, hope you're doing well. Tara says hi. Uh, Pilot Ryan, Captain Mike, hope you guys are well. Can't wait for tomorrow night for the Pilot's Lounge. Um, also, the Petrinkic Brothers, Robert, Captain Vaz, um, hope you guys are doing well. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to get on to this, uh, you know, but I just try to think of all my guys out there. Uh, Rep and Roy, what's up, Roy? Um, Wayne Lee, uh, let's see, gosh, uh, Victor Shamulus, um, uh, God, I go, I go blank. I'm like Skip in his video, guys. I just go blank. But thank all you guys so much, man. You're great. Okay, so let's get on with this. Um, the time has come. Let's see what's in the box. Get it done, as they say. Um, I'm going to cut this open carefully and uh, see what's in here, guys. This is a project I've been wanting to work on for a while. Um, just couldn't decide, couldn't pull the trigger it was between this and uh, another company, but uh, I know what I'm getting with this company, so I decided to go with this company and uh, the size that I wanted. They didn't have the scheme I wanted, so I'm gonna make my own scheme, guys. That's what this whole video is gonna be devoted to, is making this into a plane that I want, and uh, I hope you guys will enjoy it. So, let's get to it and see what's in the box, guys. I think you'll like it, hopefully as much as I do. And uh, hopefully you can see that pretty good, guys. That is the F-16 Falcon. And yeah, I'm gonna have a ball with this, guys. Um, the whole plan with this plane is to take it to a different level as far as performance. And as far as the whole look of it, this is going to be a total repaint right out of the box here, guys. Um, before I even try to fly it, I'm going to totally rework this plane, um, as they say, inside and out. And uh, it ought to be fun. I'm going to try to keep you guys in the loop with the video and everything so you can see what I do and how I do it. I hope you'll enjoy it. I hope you'll learn something. Um, this is one 
that a uh, friend of ours at the field has. I've shot some video on it. It's a great flying jet. And uh, this is the ARF. And the reason this is the ARF is because I already have the ESC and now I have the 90 millimeter M runner 1835 KV EDF to go in it. That's a lot of daggone <laughs> letters, isn't it? But anyway, um, so yeah, so we'll open this up and uh, give you guys a gander here um, at what we've got. Set this over here where we can see it. Uh, okay, so what we're getting here, guys, right out of the box, um, it's in two levels. Uh, it's really nice looking packaging, of course. You don't ever expect any different from Motion RC and Freewing. Um, we have our manual here, which um, is pretty straightforward. This is pretty, you know, guys. Here's what's here's the weird thing about this jet. Um, you know, since I decided to go with this, uh, I've been looking around trying to find a lot of videos on this jet. There's not a lot out there, truly. Um, there's a lot of flight videos, but there's not a lot of build videos. There's one guy that he does some building and a couple of mods. Other than that, there's just not a lot out there on this jet. So I'm kind of excited about that to be bringing you something, hopefully, that's a little different. Um, what I was getting at a while ago, guys, with this particular plane, um, I love the F-16. However, I've been looking at the F-16 uh, 105mm that HSD puts out, that RC Jetworks has, uh, a couple other companies have. And, uh, you know, I've been toying between getting that one in the turbine version but putting an EDF in it until I feel better about putting the turbine but guys you're talking a lot of money I mean you're talking upwards well over a thousand dollars before you even put a turbine in a jet like that um, and if you get the turbine airframe and you put an EDF in it that's going to be well powered like a JP or something and, and all the components plus the landing gear you're looking fifteen hundred easy um, and then if you decide you want to put a turbine in it you're talking another fifteen hundred you're looking over three thousand dollars for a f-16 um, in the arctic aggressor scheme which is what i wanted um, freewing makes this model in a 70 millimeter and uh, i've talked to wesley at the boozer channel um, wesley loves the uh, 70 millimeter in this jet and I, you know, I think I would too, guys, but I just, I like the 90s. And um, it's nothing against the 70s. I've, I've got an 80 millimeter Sabre in there. I've, I, you know, I've got some other stuff, but I just really wanted this in a 90, but I wanted it in the Arctic Aggressor scheme. So therefore, I bought this one. And I bought the ARF, and like I said, I'm putting the components in. And I'm gonna make it the Arctic Aggressor Scheme, and I'm gonna take you through that process, guys, step by step, um, and show you how I do it, how I paint it, how I customize it, um, everything from start to finish, including this unboxing. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's the plan, guys. So, again, the manual here. Um, lay this out here. Uh, we've got all the ordnance here, guys. We've got your missiles. Um, these are these are the detail on these guys is, is really really nice. I hope you see all that, the paint job, everything on those, the decals. Um, these are really sweet here. Um, they look very nice. Uh, they've got the numbers on them. I, I will probably put my FAA numbers on the other side of this just to be legal. Um, but these look incredible. Um, so moving on, we have, uh, let's see what's under here, um, we have the wing, uh, wing spar here, one of the wing spars, um, this is a wing half here, um, the only thing that I was kind of reserved about with this plane guys is the fact that it's already got some stuff on it um, that I'm going to have to get off 
or paint over. Um, so it's just a matter of how I want to do that. Um, I'm not really sure yet without getting my hands on it and looking at it and feeling of it. And you know, you guys know how that goes. Um, so that's one thing I'm, I'm eager to see if these decals that are up here are painted on, stuck on, how they're done. Um, and it looks to be that uh, these are actually stuck on because I think I can already see under this one right here. So that's good. I'm um, going to be peeling these off, obviously. After I got where I had to stop for a little while, I went ahead and uh, decided to get the stickers off of here. And um, as you can see, I was able to remove this one pretty good. It peeled a little paint here, um, but I was very careful in taking these off. I'll come around a little bit where you guys can see this. Um, little paint came off here. Um, not bad down in here. And when I peeled off the star and bars here, well, you can see what happened. So I went in and I put a little spackle in there, smoothed out the edges. So when I repaint this, you won't see any of this. Um, this side doesn't have anything, um, so which is great. Uh, I will be putting servo tape over all of this because I do not like to see this. Um, or actually hinge tape, guys, uh, is what it would be. And painting this as well because I just don't like to see this. Um, you know, my thing is if you're going to take the time to cover a servo, which is awesome by Freewing, cover this. You know what I mean? Um, but anyway, no big deal. I can fix that. Uh, all of your linkages are already connected. Um, as you can see here, you have the ball clevises, which are great. Um, everything here seems to move really well. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you that. And uh, we'll lay this out here. Um, and of course, you know, you know what the other wing looks like. I've already peeled off the stickers on this wing as well. Um, again, a little bit of the paint peeled off here. I try to be very, very careful, but for the most part, that's not a big deal. That's going to go away anyhow. So yeah, there's your other wing. Um, and uh, let's see. We have the... vertical stabilizer here guys um, in looking at this uh, come up with a few, few uh, conclusions um, first of all uh, check your rudder as you can see mine was stuck in here so when I did this it peeled off some paint again not a big deal I'm going to be painting this anyway but my point here, guys, was all of these are water slides. You can't even feel where they are on this plane. So rather than taking these off, I am going to paint over them. I've painted over a few others on some of the other customizations you guys have seen, and they do very well. They disappear under the paint. Um, you won't ever see them. And when I put new decals on, It'll actually uh, give me a little reference maybe as to where I want to put the new ones for the uh, Arctic Aggressor scheme that I've ordered and my wife is going to help make up for me. Um, and so, you know, yeah, I'm not peel peeling all these off because you do more damage peeling them off, guys, than you do actually uh, leaving them on there and painting over them um, and you won't see them. So, uh, yeah, that's my plan. Um, so next we have, of course, as I showed you, all the missiles, the wing spar, and that's in the first half of the box here. This fuselage is beautiful, guys, uh, so we're, we'll get to that. Um, these are your horizontal stabilizers or your elevators. Um, actually, they're, they're very nicely done. The, the paint on this plane is beautiful. Um, it's, it's sad to have to take a brand new plane and paint over it, but I, I want what I want, and um, I love doing this part of it. Uh, I love the build, but I love to paint these planes and make them my own, and I wanted the camo scheme and the Arctic scheme. So, um, but as you can see, uh, very nice ball clevises here, guys. Um, paint job on this is incredible. Um, so yeah, there's one of those, and uh, we'll lay that right up there. And uh, of course, 
you know, you know what that one looks like. Here's the second one. Um, we have the tail uh, cone that will be um, attached with glue. Uh, I think it's the only gluing on this plane. Uh, the finish on this is very nice. Um, you can see the LED light ring back behind a piece of plastic that they've got in here, which is awesome design. Um, I may actually go in here and paint this with a chrome paint just to give it even more reflection. I feel like the more you can get, the better, even though the lights are facing back, probably won't make a big difference, but you know, I'll probably do it just to get rid of the white in there. So, uh, there's your tail cone. Um, we have the nose cone here, guys. Um, which is actually fiberglass. Um, a couple of guys I've seen uh, are reinforcing these magnets. I will do that because I have some rare earth magnets. I'll probably put a couple more in here just to make it a little stronger. Um, the tip on this, well, it lacks a little bit to be desired. A little flimsy, as you can see. Um, doesn't come out. So I'll be really careful with that until I break it and then I'll replace it. Um, and uh, so yeah, there's that. And uh, then you have your beautiful, beautiful drop tanks, guys. Um, these are sweet. Uh, they look very nice. Just another tip for you guys. Um, if you like to fly with your drop tanks, um, in here, let me see if I can get a little closer for you. In here, there is paint on these magnets. This one's not too bad. Um, this one, uh, you can probably see the paint on it, guys. Um, get that paint off. Um, take something and scrape that paint off of there to make these adhere well to the other magnets um, on the jet if you're going to fly with these. Because if you don't, uh, they don't stick as well with the paint on the magnets. So just a little tip for you there. Um, to look at on any of these planes that come with ordnance. Um, if you're going to have the uh, magnets, make sure you get the paint off of them, guys. Um, these are the pieces for the wing, I do believe. Um, let's see if I can get this tape off of here. Yeah, uh, basically these are the holders with the magnets. And as you can see, let me get in here close for you. Both of these for the drop tanks have got paint on the magnets. Get it off of there. Because if you don't, they'll stick. But uh, you get into some turbulence or a bounce or whatever, they're going to come off much easier. Get that paint off. Um, so there's, there's that for you. There's several sets of these in here. Um, yeah, these are the ones, I believe, for the outer part of your wing. Um, and guys, you know, I know everybody's seen an unboxing. I just try to put my little spin on it. Anything I can come up with to help you guys out. Uh, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, so don't critique me too bad on my unboxing. I know that uh, John uh, VHRC at GB Linden, they do incredible unboxings. Their uh, cinematography, their lighting, everything is awesome. You guys are great. Love your stuff. Learn a lot from you. Um, so, I'm just working with what I got here, guys. Um, these, I do believe, yes, these are the pieces that will <clears throat> go on the outer part of your wing here. And I'm, yes, I'm assuming that these will need to be glued as well. Um, they feel like they do. So, uh, yeah, there's that. And these have a little bit of roughness on places where the mold was. I'll sand that off, get it smooth before I paint all this. I'm going to paint it. I'm going to do it right. Um, so there's that one. And then, of course, this one goes on the other wing over here. Um, yeah, just like so. And again, it's got the rough places where the mold was here. I will be fixing that as I move forward in this build, guys. Um, and uh, let's see. These are the vertical. Uh, well, these actually go on the back of the plane. These glue on as well um, beside uh, the afterburner um, here. I don't know the name of these, but I'm sure you guys know it. 
Um, they will go on each side of the fuse. And then we have more uh, connectors for bombs and pylons and things like that. Um, and these are just interlock on the plane wing itself. You can leave these on, take them off, whichever works best for you guys. Um, and then, of course, we have our um, vertical fins that go on here with some glue, the wing spars for the horizontal st uh, stabilizer, elevator, um, there's that. And then of course you have your rods for the uh, elevator as well and your screws and some other parts and your other extra uh, clevises. You have your rods um, for your connectors on the elevator as well. So yeah, there's all of that. And now let's get to it here, guys. Um, this is absolutely beautiful, guys. Um, and as the Petrinkic brothers say, slow and sexy. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, lordy lord. This is uh, beautiful, guys. I um, hope you can get a good shot of this. Um, absolutely beautiful, beautiful plane. Um, I really, you know, even though I, I want the aggressor scheme, and I will have it, I'm going to do that. Um, I, I, I hate <laughs> taking a beautiful plane like this and changing it up. Um, I will get a little closer for you guys and show you a few things on here. Um, these particular stickers right here, I will take off. Um, these are just like what was on the wing and they will come off. Uh, these are so flat and smooth you can't even feel them. I will be painting over these and as I said, I have my wife who I've ordered graphics and stuff from uh, that <laughs> lives here, so hopefully I can get them done. We're going to get all these redone in the Arctic Aggressor scheme and uh, when I paint all this, I'll put all this back just like it looks. Uh, paint over this. Um, but yeah guys, I mean just, just look at this. And as of right now, this does not have an uh, EDF in here because, as you well know, I'm putting the 90 millimeter in runner in here. Um, and uh, I've already got my ESC. And as I said, I will be firming up this with a few more magnets. Um, I will remove uh, the cockpit for you and give you a little closer up view of that. That looks really nice, guys. Uh, pilot looks good in there. Um, as of right now, I'm not going to do a lot with that. Um, but yeah, look at look at inside here, guys. Uh, wings are run. I mean, the uh, wires are run very nicely. Already very clean. I will tidy up everything because I like neatness. I can't stand a rat's nest. So um, I will probably get in here and work with all of this as well um, to make it look even neater. Um, Baron Walker, who flies with us, as you guys well saw his uh, BVM video on his F-18, that is a beautiful, beautiful plane, guys. Until you see one in person and can actually touch it, feel it, look at it, you just can't imagine how nice of a, a plane build that is, guys. And uh, BVM, excellent job on those planes. Um, beautiful. Um, but my point being... He was telling me that these jets typically tend to be nose heavy and I'm putting a heavier EDF in here as well. So I'm going to really, really be on top of the CG on this plane, checking it out. Um, I may actually have to move my battery. Uh, if it's already nose heavy, the EDF may help to help with that because um, it does just holding it in my hand with nothing. It does feel a little nose heavy, especially uh, in the center line around where the CG would be on this plane. As you can see, she's, she's already kind of wanting to fall, and I know there's no other stuff in here. So I'm um, going to get all that straightened out and the CG and everything. So, But, uh, yeah, this is, this is a beautiful, beautiful jet, guys. Um, I love the doors on it. You know, I was watching a video yesterday of a guy who was doing an HSD Arctic Camo 105-millimeter jet, and they're beautiful, man, and, and I will eventually have one. But he was showing that the doors on that nice jet are styrofoam. I mean, come on, guys. You're going to build a jet that beautiful and put the nice retracts and, and have a jet that's that nice? Give us some fiberglass doors, man. If, if Freewing can do it, come on, HSD. You guys can do it, too. Uh, you've got a beautiful product. Just tighten it up a little bit. Um, 
So yeah, guys, so uh, that's pretty much the unboxing on the F-16 90mm by Freewing. Um, and as I move along in this, you guys will get to see how I'm going to do this. Um, I'm going to use some of the boozer techniques. I'm going to rivet this. I will be totally changing the look of it, painting it. Um, let's go ahead and add the nose cone, shall we? Um, kind of get her looking good here, guys. Um, let's see, that's a tight fit, which is a good problem to have, I guess. Hmm. Let's see, it goes this way, no wonder. Um, yeah, I can see, guys, that's, that's definitely going to have to be tightened up. Um, but it's a beautiful, beautiful jet, guys. If you haven't checked it out, look at it. And um, I hope you're going to enjoy this, uh, you know, video segment that I'm doing. Um, I'm just really trying to have fun at what I do. I thank you so much, guys, for all the subs. Um, thank you so much, DIY Granddad, for putting me on your channel and promoting me on your channel. That really meant a lot to me. I'm very honored for that. Thank you to Pilot Ryan for all the shout outs you give me in the Pilot's Lounge. Um, of course, Dave's RC. Um, love you, man, uh, and really enjoy your stuff. I look forward to seeing you hopefully on YouTube tonight. Um, also, Mary Boozer channel, I love you guys. Wesley, Lori, you're doing a phenomenal job on your whole presentation for Wesley, man. He's a lucky guy, man, to have you work in the computer and talking to people and putting up picture in picture and all this stuff. Lori, great job. I really enjoy watching you guys too. Uh, Skip, hope you're doing well. Um, I really enjoy watching your stuff. I'm ready to see the maiden on that new L39 there, man. Uh, you do a lot of great mods on those. And um, I've got a lot of new subs, guys. And, uh, you know, I try to remember every one of them. I can't remember all the names. And I'm sorry, um, I try to write them down a lot of times. Um, but I, I so appreciate all you guys checking out my channel and joining in uh, to see what I have to put up there. Um, just as I said, having fun with it and enjoying what I do. And uh, I just have this my passion, guys. And I'm trying to get better and better as I go. Um, so I hope you, you know, don't critique things too bad because I'm, I'm still learning. I'm watching all you guys' videos that are awesome and trying to incorporate some of what you do with not only my video, but with my presentation, uh, with my builds, with my customization, my flying. Um, I learn a lot. I've been watching a lot of flight videos on this jet because there's a lot of those. There's just not a lot of build videos and there's not a lot of customization videos on this out there. Um, so I'm going to have one and but I enjoy watching all you guys flight videos and I try to comment each and every one of you because you do a great job and um, I just thank you so much for everything you put out there that helps all of us pilots get better at what we do and what we love because nobody wants to crash a plane especially after you put a lot of time into it a lot of effort to make it look good nobody wants to crash anything um, so thank you so much guys for tuning in I will be Coming back as I change things on this, I will be keeping you up to date. I may be doing some speed things or throwing pictures in rather than talking a lot because I'm sure you guys get bored with that and I get winded sometimes. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for all the great support from all the new subs I get. Um, all the guys that have already subbed to me that just support me in the chat rooms. Um, thank you guys, uh, you're great. We all learn from each other here and we all try to move forward and become better pilots each and every day. So um, happy weather to everyone. Hope you get a lot of flying in this weekend. I know I'm going to fly tomorrow. Hope to get some more videos for you guys. Might be shooting the F-18 some more. Um, if there's something you guys would like to see, please let me know. Um, or you have any questions on anything that I can help you with or I may know someone that can help you with. Please do not hesitate to ask. And again, guys, if you're ever in Greenville, North Carolina, check out Champions Health and Fitness. They're a great facility. I appreciate uh, Greg so much for sponsoring my channel. Um, he's an awesome guy, beautiful gym, very clean, very nice. Uh, you won't find a better place to work out. And so uh, if you need a good workout, you're traveling, you're in town, please check it out, Champions Health and Fitness. 
Thank you, Motion RC, for an awesome jet, free wing, and I'll be seeing you guys with more to come. Stay tuned to the channel. Please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you see what I'm putting out, guys. Take care and have a great, great day.